This is surprising. That power of yours is unbelievable. Who or what are you? Me. I'm just a zombie. You are no ordinary zombie. I can sense unfathomable magic power deep within you. C could it be? Are you a Majin? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I'm just a plain old zombie. No, there's no mistaking it. This ominous aura. You must be the legendary Majin. The one who almost destroyed the entire universe in ancient times. Bubby? A Majin? Th that can't be true, Prince Zed. No. I too am surprised, but given all the research I've done on its DNA, I am absolutely certain. This is quite an unsettling revelation you have laid before us. I too suspected you were no ordinary zombie, but I never imagined you could be a Majin. Uh, Prism Zed's true identity is Prism Majin Zed? No fair! That sounds way cooler! <laughs> I could tell from the start. From the moment we met, I knew you were more than a mere zombie. Bullshit! You really are full of it. Who was the one that kept looking down on me for being just a zombie? All of you, please. You must lend me your strength. With your help, perhaps, we will be able to change fate. Please, you must bring salvation to Mijual's soul. Don't mess with me, dammit! Because of you guys, me and Biko. Come on, Bobby. We gotta help him. Uh... Bobby, please. <sighs> um. Ah, that's quite a tale. So you've also been super reincarnating. Yeah, and it's all because we got caught up in your stupid plan. Whatever it is. I can't believe I sought such a resolution. My apologies. This is all because my heart was... too weak. Huh? Since when did you have manners? Well, we are talking to Mijual before he fell into despair. He was known to be an upstanding individual. I still kind of want to tear him apart, but I guess this guy isn't the Cerberus we know. Where do you wish to go? Mijual, what happens after this? Unable to fully withstand the demon's attacks, Reliza uses the Majin's DNA on herself to protect the city. Uh huh? But if she does that, then... 
Correct. Reliza becomes a god of destruction. You would never hesitate to sacrifice yourself to protect the people. I suppose you're right. After annihilating the demonic forces, Reliza was unable to cease wreaking havoc. In order to stop her, I had no choice but to take her life. I became obsessed with saving her, which led me to develop super reincarnation. However, no matter how many times I super reincarnated, or what I did differently, it always ended the same. In that case, why not destroy the God of Destruction's core? That's how we were able to save Biko. I tried that too, but still I was unable to change Reliza's fate. No matter what I did or how many times I tried, it made no difference. Reliza is destined to die. That's the worst tragedy I've ever heard. We must turn this into a happy ending. Don't you agree, Prince Ed? <laughs> this jerk doesn't deserve a happy ending. Bobby! Okay, okay. I'll fight the demons when they show up, all right? All right. Oh no! The demons have arrived! No! I'm detecting multiple high-energy signatures! They're all... gods of destruction! Th these are gods of destruction? Well, this can't be. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? This may be an unforeseen effect of Zed's super reincarnation path crossing with visuals. As the vortex of reincarnation becomes so twisted that it's trying to swallow us whole? Oh god of fate! Would you truly go this far to prevent us from changing her destiny? Screw this crap! I'll beat this god of fate into the ground too if I have to! His body has surpassed its limits. He is currently in the process of awakening as a margin. What? He'll succumb to a nigh uncontrollable urge to destroy. Nothing can be done. As an ancient margin, it's in his blood. If this continues, he'll fully transform. In other words, he'll become the true god of destruction. This can't be... Hmm. Cerberus most likely knew Zed was the ancient Majin, which is why he pushed him to super reincarnate. His plan was to awaken Zed's Majin blood over the course of his battles, therefore destroying the entire universe. His real target was Zed all along? He used Sweet Biko as bait so that Zed would awaken as a Majin! That foul, dastardly swine of a man! No freaking way! I won't let him get what he wants! I'm not gonna turn into some stupid Majin! No way in hell! Follow me, please. <laughs> Huh? What's this? Uh, we've already had our fill of Gods of Destruction, thank you very much. What? 
How can this be? Oh, cursed god of fate. It seems you wish to take Reliza from me no matter what. If you must take a life, take mine. Enough, Mizuel. I've been fated to die from the very beginning. Please, forget about me. You deserve to live a happy life. No. I refuse. How could I possibly live a happy life without you by my side? Oh yes, I completely understand how he feels. It's as if I'm watching my own love story with Prince Zed here. Quit daydreaming, you moron! This ain't the time! Oh, so you really are getting married, Bobby? Like hell I am! Eliza, no matter what happens, even if we aren't from the same dimension, I... I know. No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'll always love you. Hey! How long are you guys gonna drag this sappy scene out? Don't you dare give up without a fight! If that god of fate is getting in the way, just kill him! Watch and learn! I'll show you how to take fate into your own hands! <sighs> Is it over? It seems so. Does this mean... We did it! Fate can be changed! That means I can save the Misera as well! Yeah! If our seven lights all come together as one, nothing is impossible for the Prism Rangers! <laughs> it would seem a ray of hope has begun to shine upon us! Thank you. All of you. I couldn't have done it alone. What are you going to do from now on? There is already a version of me in this timeline. He will go on to live happily with Reliza. Mishua. Worry not, Reliza. I couldn't be any happier. Knowing that you're alive is enough for me. My journey has finally come to an end. All that's left for me to do is live out the rest of my days in solitude. Be well, Reliza. I wish you nothing but happiness. Thank you, Mizuel. Are you sure this is how you want to leave it? I am. There's no need for two Mizuels in this timeline. If I stayed, it would only complicate things further. <laughs> you big softy. I'm sorry, Zed, but I have one last request of you before I go. <sighs> All right, I'm listening. What is it? I know I don't have any right to ask you this, but I want you to stop the other me. The one who did those awful things. <laughs> if you're talking about that jerk Cerberus, there's no need to ask. I was planning on putting him down anyway. I'm relieved to hear that. Thank you. And farewell. Thanks, Bobby. Why are you thanking me, Biko? Because you helped Serbi. Uh, I didn't really help him. I just thought that fate stuff was stupid. That's all. My Prince Zed, you may not be honest with your feelings, but you did look awfully dashing back there. Whatever. I didn't do it to impress you or anything. Ah, Bobby. So you two are getting married. No, we're not. All right, that's enough. Let's super reincarnate so I can send that stupid Cerberus straight to hell. Ah! Ah! Zed! Are you alright? 
Yeah. I'm fine. Zed, if you keep pushing yourself like this, you will become a Majin. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'll finish this way before I gotta worry about that. Let's go! Super Reincarnation! Cerberus, you really are an idiot. You should have just asked me and Biko for help when you first met us. You're always bottling stuff up inside. A damn moron. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. The group came to an island nation. There, they found a giant robot fighting on the side of justice, Majinger Zed. Woohoo! The Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers finally have a giant robot of their own! Bobby, I want to ride it too! All right, let's go! Majinger, go! Biko, on! This indomitable power will definitely protect Biko! Yeah, we're gonna save Serby! The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus, a new story begins. This is my netherworld, is it not? Curse that Mishuel, choosing this as the location for our final battle. All of the higher-ups are at the Darkest Assembly. If he takes over this world, he'll have no trouble destroying the universe. Bobby! This is bad. Zed could turn into a Majin at any moment. Don't be an idiot. I told you I'm not turning into some stupid Majin. Hmm. It seems our only choice is to finish this as quickly as we can. Indeed. In the meantime, we must do all we can to support Prince Zed. Right! Let's show everyone how well the Prism Rangers work together! Thanks, you guys. No matter what happens, I'll make sure you all make it out of this. <laughs> <laughs>